Hi, uh, my name is Satya Narayanan Akor, or Satya for short. Um, I will be working as an assistant professor at Oklahoma State University starting fall 2019. I'm currently a PhD student working under Dr. Sadeep Sarkar at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at the University of South Florida. So I worked as a software developer uh, for logistics and many companies that we worked with were based in Florida, such as FedEx and AccuSoft, which is a document imaging company. And I visited Florida numerous times to communicate with them and I really like the ambience in the area and especially around Tampa Bay where there seems to be a variety of things to do. And uh, I figured USF, located in the area that I like, uh, if they had a good program I would probably go there. And turns out uh, when I applied, computer science uh, at USF was top ranked in the state of Florida and I really liked the research that was going on in the department and I chose USF for that reason. I worked on a project that was to extend visual understanding beyond just simple recognition. So current deep learning methods or other approaches to visual understanding focus on just recognizing or labeling what the primary object or the primary action is in a video or an image sequence. But they don't really understand how the object got there or what the object is doing without explicit training. Our, my research project was focused on understanding why an object or an action occurred in the scene by exploiting human knowledge in terms of large knowledge bases across that has been constructed from text data like books or articles, etc. So my future career as an assistant professor will be at the intersection of psychology and computer vision. And uh, that seems to be a really exciting field right now, especially with advances in artificial intelligence and its applications in mainstream social media and other platforms and that integrate into our everyday use. So my time at USF has been memorable for, mo for most, if not all of it, but two memories really stand out. Um, the first time I got my code uh, running for my first major publication, um, that showed me that I can do research at this level, that I'm not just a software developer who's trying to be a scientist. Um, that, was, that made me feel that I belong in the research community. The second uh, equally important memory is when I first taught a class in summer 2016. So that showed me that beyond just research, I wanted to expand the knowledge that I had and give it back to the community and make more people enjoy programming or research as I would. So those two things made me cement my determination to become an assistant professor and stay in academia rather than go back to the industry and work 24-7 uh, on a business problem uh, without giving back to the community. In short, my advice would be enjoy what you do and continue to do what you enjoy either in research and have, especially take time off from research to have a good work-life balance. Go Bulls!